Hey there guys, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 S. This is a new edition of Windows 10 that's locked to the Windows Store. What that essentially means is when you want to download an Apple game, it must come through the Windows Store, otherwise it simply will not install. Now, this isn't as bad as it sounds. Windows 10 S will not be replacing Windows 10 Pro, meaning you can still buy new Windows 10 devices with Windows 10 Pro installed. You'll likely find Windows 10 S on low-end devices similar to Chromebooks and on devices that are aimed at students and schools. So if you rely heavily on apps that aren't in the Windows Store, you have nothing to worry about. Windows 10 Pro is not going away. And besides, Windows 10 S can in fact be upgraded to Windows 10 Pro if needed. On some devices, this upgrade will be free. On others, you'll be charged a small fee. If you are one of those people who will not be upgrading to Windows 10 Pro, this is what you can expect from Windows 10 S. On the surface, it looks just like a normal edition of Windows 10, and that's simply because it is. It's got the same Win32 APIs behind the scenes, meaning you can run your full Windows desktop applications. It's got the universal Windows platform, meaning you can run the newer updated apps as well. You've also got the ability to do most of the things Windows 10 Pro can do outside of the ability to obviously run apps from outside the store. So let's show you that now. If I want to try and download an app from outside the store, you'll find that it simply doesn't work on Windows 10 S. So uh, let's try and download that here. You'll see that if I click on download now, accept and install, I will be able to save this and it'll take a second to download. I will also not have an option to press run here. On Windows 10 Pro and Home, there is an option to run that executable directly from Edge, but on Windows 10 S, it's no longer there. If I try to run the executable from the File Explorer, I get a friendly pop-up telling me that for security reasons, Windows 10 S only runs verified apps from the store. And then I have the option to get that apps from the store. And in this case, since Chrome isn't in the store, it will not take me to that apps page where I can download Chrome. On the other hand, Evernote is in the Windows Store. So if I try to launch the Evernote executable here, it says, hey, you can't do that. But we found Evernote in the Windows Store. So if you want to install Evernote, you can do so. So if I click on this here, you'll see that it takes me to Evernote and I can now download Evernote straight from the Windows Store, which is very nice. If we go back to the Chrome installer here, you'll see that down here there is an option to... Uh, it says, hey, still want to install apps from outside the store? See how. And if I click on see how here, you'll see that uh, it takes me to the Windows 10 Pro upgrade page where I can now install my Windows 10 Pro license if I want to. As I said, some devices will allow you to do this for free. Others will charge a small fee. And you can see the benefits here. Windows 10 S and Windows 10 Pro practically identical, apart from Windows 10 S cannot join a domain and cannot run any apps from outside the store. Everything else between S and Pro is identical. There are some other minor changes as well. If we go into settings here and go to apps, you'll find that uh, you cannot set a default web browser. So even if Google Chrome came to the Windows Store, you wouldn't be able to set it as default on Windows 10 S. And I believe that's by design, of course, to encourage users to use uh, Microsoft's own services. So if we see here, there is no option to change the web browser to Edge, whereas on Windows 10 Pro and Home, there is. Now, Evernote has just been installed. So if we hit launch here, you'll see that Evernote boots up and runs absolutely fine, much like on any other edition of Windows 10. And that's because with Windows 10 S, if an app is in the Windows Store, it runs much like you would normally expect. So uh, let's uh, download a couple more apps here. Let's see what we've got. So here's Telegram Desktop, another Win32 program. I can download and install this, and this will also run absolutely fine. If I try to download this from the web, however, it will say, sorry, that's not possible. Here is the app in the store and then it will allow me to download it through the store. And again, if an app isn't, isn't in the store, it will look for alternatives for you. And if it can't find any alternatives, then well, you may need to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. But there you have it, guys. That's a very quick look at Windows 10 S. This will be launching first on the Surface laptop on June 15th and will likely be coming to many other devices thereafter. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.